In places like this, the sight and sound of heavy machinery is unusual. But today in the shadow of Hadrian's Wall, a crane arrived to remove and hopefully recover a piece of history. Two weeks after this iconic emblem of the Northeast was felled overnight, the first chunks of the Sycamore Gap tree were taken off Hadrian's Wall. Inch by inch, this was an intricate operation, with a team trying to move the 50-foot sycamore while also attempting to ensure the ancient wall was undamaged. To move and cut the trunk of a tree that's been here for hundreds of years has taken most of the day. But it's hoped that this signals a new start, with thousands of suggestions already made for what to do with its remains. I'm sure everybody up and down the country has ideas about what to do with it. But we were talking uh, together about each of the four nations having a slice of it and then creating something that comes back and is joined as one piece of sculpture. I think it'd be nice for the tree to be used for something and just get that legacy. Parts of the tree will be held in safe storage for now. Its seeds have been collected and it's hoped shoots will grow from the stump which has been left in place. The tree's not dead. The, the, the original tree's been felled, but the stump's still alive, so yet, uh, ironically, what we've done here is extended the life of the tree, because it, it, we're fairly confident it'll regrow if we can protect it from grazing animals. Um, so, yeah, today's a new beginning. The Sycamore Gap was a link between the past and the present, and even though there are plans to preserve it for the future, for now, this is a landscape left robbed of one of its most famous landmarks. Shingimari, KSK News at Hadrian's Wall.